Hi friends, this is Nikhil Toma and you are watching Edit Developer. In this video, we are going to learn how we can extract frame from a video. So, let's start the code. First of all, we are going to import all our required libraries. First is going to be operating system library. Next is the NumPy. And the, uh, next is the CV2, that is OpenCV library. And after that is the globe. It should be. Let's import the globe function only from globe import globe. Okay. Now let's create our main function. The if line. I don't know what I just don't know what do we call this line. Can anyone comment if you know what what we call this line? What, is, what we specifically call this? Please comment below if you know. So first of all, we need videos. Okay. So I have a folder with name videos and I have two videos in it. Okay, first is the Elon Musk video, 30 second clip, and another 30 second clip with a with a scene from Infinity War, Iron Man. Okay, I'm not going to show you them. Maybe I get some copyright issue. Let me just show you again. Okay, this is the video. That's the Elon Musk. Now, all the frames are going to save in a save in a separate folder name save okay i have created it and inside these so we have two videos in the uh, videos folder so first name is elon musk second name is let's forget so the name of the video is x then a separate folder code x would be created in the save folder and within these this x folder all the frames of the x video is going to be saved okay and all these folder are going to be created automatically you need not to create them you just need to put video in this folder and just forget and run the code everything would be automatic we should we would not be doing like creating folder automatic with the human a human is going to create folder then the we want to run the program that's not the thing here so first of all let get the all the video parts using the globe for function and you're going to take a, a pattern let's say star so we want both the videos okay now the directory where we're going to save all the frames its name is save okay so let's create a loop for path in video paths now we will create a function called save frame and it will take the video path okay save directory okay so let's create the function save frame and what it's going to take is video path and save directory so first we need to create a folder okay so first of all we have this save so we need to create a save folder and inside that we need to create a folder with the name of the file so let's extract the name from the video path let's see name we're going to split this video path because it contains slashes so we're going to first split it on the base of slash okay so let me print this name you're going to break it here because we want to run it one time only video okay so we have split it videos 30 second and infinity bar we have split it so this is the name basically the last one so what i want is i, I want this just this name i don't want X, the dot and the extension so i'm going to split it on the base of the dot next just remove this you want to see for the another one also okay it should be like the last one okay the last one the last element of this list next i'm going to split this last element on the base of the dot extension let's see it again how it look okay so you can see the name and the extension okay and in the second case also alone underscore musk and the extension so we're going to extract the first first element <coughs> from this list we're going to say zero so we have the name now okay we have the name now we need to create the folder where we're going to save the frame save path equals to os dot path dot join okay first is the save dir 
second is the name okay next we're going to create the directory let's create another function name dir and a path should be specified inside it okay let's create this function let's say path here and it def keyword okay so we're going to create a directory you know we're going to use try accept just to make sure if the directory is already exist or not if not path dot exist path okay if this directory does not exist create it make dirs okay that's the path this specific path here and if we have any error like exit every time i make some spelling mistake this is because i have new keyboard and i'm not addict used to it so we're going to print message error but we can say let's specify f here error creating directory with name given os operating system management name path okay so we have this create dir also completed now we need to capture the video using the cv2 library function let's say cap cv2 dot video capture and inside this function we need to specify the video path so we have captured this video we have this variable cap and next we're going to specify the an index a variable name idx to zero and we're going to use this index idx variable to, to name the frames sequence the frame okay now inside let's create now here we're going to create a infinite while loop okay in this column is okay ret return and the frame cap dot read so we're going to read the cap and we're going to get this red this return value and frame so if red is equals to false this means we have reached the end of the video and we do not have, have any frame so we're going to re release this video we have captured here and then we're going to break we're going to stop the loop because we don't have any frame else we're going to save it okay we can specify the path here That is save path okay and slash idx dot png and then name of the frame and after that we can increment that's a simple line of code there's few lines of code run it and see if there's any issue rather let's wait for few for few seconds okay so we have this save folder and it's working on this iron man clip okay to extract something okay so you extracted frames from it okay i think it's a long video <laughs> and saying a long time you can see you extracted a lot of frames from it like currently you have 875 frames okay it started working on the elon musk video you can see the frames if i just play them continuously i play this frame continuously so you will see them as a video see these are the frame extracted in the elon musk video so now you have seen we have some videos and you have extracted frame from these videos the program is come run completed so we have frame from all these videos so now we also can have some condition like we want to extract frame with a gap like we want to have a gap of 10 like first we want to extract 0 then 10 then 20 then 30 okay so let's uh, do that also specify variable called gap okay gap is equal to 10 now how are we going to do it 
तो वी नीड सम कंडीशन स्पेसिफाइड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ इंडेक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो सेव दैट फ्रेम ओके एल्स इफ आई डी एक्स परसेंटाइल कैप इज इक्वल टू जीरो इफ देर रिमाइंडर इज जीरो देन अगेन सेव दैट फ्रेम so now you have another variable called gap you can specify the value of gap so i'm going to remove this frame so now you can see how this uh, this look it look like a continuous video but after the gap value specified we have specified value of gap 10 so it will change the number of frame saved would change and their look also would change because now the frame would not be continuous they would have some gap in between okay okay Okay, we have to specify it above. The the default value for gap ten. Let's run it again. Running. Take the save folder. So you can see the best thing is that we need not to create this folder. We just need to put the video here, and it would automatically extract the frame and save the mini folder. You can see now zero, ten, twenty, thirty. You can see a gap of ten frames. Now you can see it's like we are fast forwarding the movie, the clip. And same you can see with the Elon Musk video. Okay, it doesn't have zero frame because I have to load this uh, folder again. Okay, now you can see zero frame. So you can see it's like we are fast forwarding the video. So you can specify the gap accordingly for your choice. You can even specify to one; it would also work fine. So you can see how they use this merely thirty-eight. No, you can say the forty lines of code extract frames from the videos. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you get some content, get some value from this video, then please share it, like the video, and still have any query left, then please comment them below, write them below. You can also check the description for the code and other uh, links. So, please make sure that you subscribe the channel. Thank you. Have a nice day.